All right, new job, everybody. I just wanted to quickly show you what's going on here. A whole bunch of furring wall in here. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start framing the electrical room, which is at the back there, a full height wall. And then I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna start doing the furring walls in the back here, 12 foot, all 20 gauge steel stud. So it's a little bit different than uh, the 25. So uh, don't get to do this too often anymore. And this might be my last job for a while. So pay attention and, and I'll teach you as much as I can. So you gotta be a little more, you wanna be a little bit more accurate, you know, with the heavy gauge, because um, it's not as easy to manipulate after it's installed. So especially to take out, right? Adding in is one thing, but taking out, man, that's that's a tougher one, right? So. The, the, the drawings changed last minute, so they had to cut open the concrete again to move some pipes around. So we'll be working around that. Um, I had all the layout done, so hopefully it's not too badly damaged and I can recover it. So like I said, I'm gonna have to sweep out the, the back wall here. So I got, after the layout, I'm gonna start with, like I said, the back wall here. I gotta actually change, shift it up, and I gotta start with the plumbing walls first because uh, we need, we don't, we're short material. Oh, I gotta shoot that down too. So you can see I go 16, 32, 48. I got my corners overlapping, same as light gauge. Uh, okay, um, coming off here, 16 half, 32 half, 48 half. So when the drywall goes in, locks the floater, I can put a full sheet and then a piece. Um, and then yeah, this is just 16s all the way. We're gonna do the bathrooms, okay? Cause for the plumbing, we're gonna get this done. Well, we might, hopefully we can get this hallway done too, but I uh, gotta leave room to be able to frame the back hallway. So you can kind of see the wall starts from here all the way down, plumbing, furring wall. And then I have same thing here with the corner overlap, okay? Uh, and a little tab for the drywall to slip in. Uh, yeah. This Makita saw is actually my favorite saw out of all of them. I love the handle. It's the, it really is just this layout is the best. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, shoot. So I'm using the, DX, the Hilti DX351 to shoot the track in with pins. And you can see I'm putting like, you know, every, every couple feet, right? We're putting in a, a pin. Okay, so these 12 foot high walls, what I'll do is we'll start putting up, uh, we'll start, uh, we'll laser up uh, the end here, and uh, I'll put a piece of, uh, we'll put studs, you know, for every 10 foot length type thing. We'll get it in. I'll, I'll show you how I get that together. I got studs ready. Uh, this is kind of what I mean. All right, and I'm lasering up the end stud. Okay, um, I'm gonna get up there with the lift and start tracking it out. For heavy gauge, uh, you can't cut fish tails. So I cut these uh, six inch pieces of steel and that joins your top tracks together. Okay, three inches on either side. Um, yeah, just, you'll see as I go here. All right, so you can see I, I got my end of the wall lasered up. Um, I like making marks, of course, to follow. Uh, when I'm putting my end studs in, but the idea right now is to get the, the measurement for the the end track. Okay, so I'm gonna go up. Hey, forget about it. All right. So uh, because I have, I'm uh, yeah, it's heavy gauge steel. We're gonna come out. 64 half. So I'll do 64 in a small half. Okay. All right. All right. Good. <clears throat> so yeah, that's how I get, how I get my top track. I just measure it over and I'll go cut it. And then you can kind of see we've got the shell laid out. Mostly with those little six inch pieces of steel, you see the top track. These these studs I am screwing in 
to the wall as well. Shit, I didn't, I missed a screw in there, but I need to come and screw these all off. And I'm putting inch and a quarters in, in them to hold the wall in. Alright, so I missed that kill. stud the whole thing out, I'll go I'll screw these ones in, make sure it's got the inch and a quarters in, and that's going to hold the wall in. Alright, so there you go, You got I got that big long furring wall up. So basically, yeah, I you start by slamming on your bottom track, of course, right? Shooting that down, and then it's simple, right? You, you laser up your end stud, okay? You screw it in with inch and a quarters uh, down the wall, right? Boom, boom, boom. And then every 10 feet, right, we're putting in like we have those clips to brace the two tracks together. I got six inch pieces of stud for that. Um, sometimes the stud lands where the joint is. So you just then in that case, like right there, you just use the stud. And we're also screwing it all the way down every 10 feet as well, okay. And every single stud has a screw in the backside, okay, going in through that half inch. And the reason being is because that wall is a half inch out at the top there. You can see they have a half inch drywall going up 10 feet and then the steel goes 12 feet. Well, yeah, I've put an inch and a quarter in every single stud the whole way. Um, so that like, you know, so the wall doesn't come this way, but it's super strong. Like it ain't going nowhere. Like it is sturdy and this is 20 gauge. I've stopped the wall back here back here now um, because this is all the way up this front wall goes all the way up because then this is the bulkhead side is in here screwed in at all the bottoms as well are screwed in i'm going to go in now and randomly just put some more inch and a quarters in just for extra strength uh no channel in here it's a furring wall like for uh plumbing so we're not going to put channel in here we're going to leave it open for the plumbers for now uh, but yeah it's nice 20 gauge steel so it's super sturdy right and simple like at all the plumbing right i just literally just stop the track on either side of the plumbing 16s were nice uh, i didn't have to move any 16s over so that's always good so the sheets will land very nicely in here Woo! 